What's going on everybody, Papsy here, and guess what? I'm playing Fortnite. I mean, most of you guys uh, pretty much just know me for my Call of Duty videos. Uh, recently, I've been playing a lot more games, branching out. It's something that I've always wanted to do. It's something I've just never had a whole lot of time to do, or I've never spent time pursuing because I've been so passionate about Call of Duty. And in all honesty, there's something about me staying competitive in Call of Duty that I love, right? At the same time, because of that, it requires, I feel like, a, a certain amount of dedication or practice. You know, you, you just like with any sport or anything out there, you have to keep doing it in order to not only get better, but to make sure that you're learning and uh, you're studying all the new maps and call outs and, and all that kind of stuff, right? So, but enough with Call of Duty. We'll, we'll save Call of Duty for Call of Duty. This is a Fortnite video. So with that being said, I, I've been in love with Fortnite. This game is so much fun. I'm not a big fan of third-person shooters either, and you guys are going to see a couple different reasons why. Because, oh, and yep, you see that guy over there? So we see him, and I'm pretty much just ducking behind this tree here. I want to start doing some live commentary Fortnite while I'm playing. I feel like that would be a lot more fun because it's kind of hard sometimes to go through the footage and think about or try to remember a couple days after exactly what was going through my mind at that time. So bear with me guys, if there's something I miss or I don't see something while I'm doing this commentary, let me know in the comments because I may have missed it. But as far as Fortnite goes, one of my, f not my favorite things to do, but I'm more of a passive aggressive player. So I like to use situations and you know uh, other people to my advantage just like this there's no reason for me to engage them there until i can do that just pop them down real fast no damage taken collect a shit and we're and we're safe so those are the types of engagements that i like getting into because they are 100 percent safe not exactly sure why i decided to put on the bush here i think my idea was to save inventory space i'm starting to realize that I don't know, I think the reason I kept the shotgun was because it was legendary, and sometimes towards the end you do get into the shotgun engagements, but I'm starting to feel like I need to start carrying more ARs because there was a Fortnite match today. I lost because I ran out of ammo. I had a, um, what's the, so I had a scar, and um, I got the guy down all the way to 39 health, and I just ran out of bullets. Um, I didn't have any other guns because the last, like, three, four guys that were alive, Ooh. This guy just gets turned on here. Waste all my shield, but he gets turned on, so. Um, but the last, like, four or five guys that I got in a gunfight with just wasted so much of my ammo because I was shooting down their bases and I wasn't paying attention to how much I had, so I ended up losing that match, and I ran at him with a pickaxe. It would have been ridiculous if I would have got four hits in to pull off the 1v1 clutch at the end. That would have been hilarious. But Fortnite is just so smooth. It's so much fun. And it's a game that I feel like I can kind of just sit back and relax and enjoy while I'm playing. It's not... I feel like the really intense moments are there. But it's fun intense moments. I don't know. It's different. For me, the intense move moments in Call of Duty either make or break you as far as whether or not you're upset you know um you're gonna be yelling screaming and cussing if you lose that engagement whereas in fortnite most of the time you're laughing you might get super upset about like a really weird situation that occurs but for the most part it seems like everyone enjoys fortnite you see some of the reaction videos on youtube that are not outlandish but and i'm not going to say that they're not genuine i'm i guess the best word i'm looking for is that they're legitimate like freakouts, getting killed by a hacker or something of that nature you know so or dying in a super ridiculous way where you're embarrassed that you potatoed you know um those are the freakouts that i'm seeing i'm not seeing just the regular rage quit type matches so that's that's pretty cool and it seems like everyone's as far as a community in fortnite 
having a lot of fun trying to find stuff just to, you know, make the wins even more ridiculous. So there's been like microwave videos, there's the jump pad videos. I mean, this game is ridiculous. And it's cool that they've already started to add so much to it. So I'm kind of curious to see where this game goes and develops. And it's really fun to see that it's it's free, you know, across all the platforms. Uh, obviously, there are transactions that they make money off of, but it's really cool to see that. And I haven't spent a whole lot of time playing this game with like uh, duos or teams yet. I've played a couple here or there, but usually the reason I'm playing this game is because no one else is on. So it's a fun little game to relax to. I also have it on my Xbox One, so whenever there's not anyone on my PlayStation, I'll hop on over there because it's in my living room and just play on my big screen TV. And then I don't have the headset on. I'm not like focusing on sound like I am here, really going for the win. I'm just kind of running around having fun, which sometimes you get pretty far. So that's that's one of the things that's interesting about this game is there's so many different play styles and different ways to win. See, I think I saw a guy way over in that corner there and another guy here. Excuse me. Bad time for a yawn. Right in the middle of a commentary, right? But this game is just something that's... I guess refreshing and I don't know if it's because I haven't played a lot of the uh, B battle royale games up until now as you guys are aware though I have gotten a computer I have been trying to make videos uh, from time to time and I've been streaming a lot more so I'm pretty close to getting my affiliate with uh, twitch and I already obviously have my partnership with YouTube so I need to continue to focus on that and continue to make videos more frequently for you guys and myself obviously but it, it's really cool to have a game that feels like it's going to be a lot of fun no matter what because even when i die i don't know when i die in call of duty i feel a little bit embarrassed in a way or i feel like i'm letting you guys down uh clearly i'm letting you guys down here when i build these stairs or this door right by these stairs that's like there's no purpose to do that but again i'm learning um I've also downloaded uh, H1DZ1, so I'm looking forward to playing my first match of that game. And I think I'm going to start branching out more and more to different uh, PC games, different console games, uh, doing different videos, and I, like I said, different show ideas. There's all kinds of different things that I've been wanting to do, and slowly but surely I'm going to start working my way up to it. It's obviously taken me so many years to get to this point. But at the same time, I'm very thankful for where I've gotten, and I just want to continue to try to do my best to keep producing uh, content. Uh, if it, in, I think these uh, these next few months are going to be exciting to see what I'm able to kind of put out for you guys, especially with the holidays coming up, because I'll have a little bit more time to sit down and actually edit and and cycle through the footage that I save, because that's always been one of the things for me that's been tough is that you really have to be very diligent about either writing down or you know almost doing in-game or post-game edits and cuts to minimize the footage that you have to later go back and review i think for me single-handedly that's probably the most not annoying but one of the things that's made it the most difficult for me to continue to make content is that um I haven't always put the best amount of time into, like I said, uh, memorizing where the good footage is. So sometimes I'll just clip, you know, certain parts of a game, which is obviously the best thing to do. So if you know exactly when something happened, if you can, either write it down or make a marker in, in your stream or, or somewhere uh, of the time and when it happened. Because then instead of having to go back and review the full 15, 20 minute game, you just have to go back and review that specific time, cut it, and bam, you're done. So, But it's the small things like that that over time you learn to get better at. And that was one of the things that was tough for me at first is I didn't always, like I said, be a diligent doing that. So I'd have to go back through all this footage. And three games can be an hour. So now you just spent an hour just going through the footage. And now you have to spend more time editing, thinking about what you want to say, structuring it. Luckily for me, most of my commentaries go 
pretty smooth and I think it's because I usually do kind of just a free flow style. I think of what I want to say on the go. Um, there's certain topics or ideas that I might jot down or know specifically what I want to talk about either based on the game's content or you know, something else that someone mentioned. That's why I'm always like trying to be super interactive with you guys because the more I can answer your specific questions or cater to what entertains you that's what's fun for me because then i actually get feedback from you guys so it's one of those things that i've been trying to you know listen and work on and really self-diagnose what i can do to make everything better and this is one of the reasons why i love this game too i was really hoping Man, yawn number two in a commentary. I almost want to start over, but it's already been so long. <laughs> but this is one of the reasons why I love this win. I was really hoping this guy would either push up and get in a gunfight, and then I could pop the winners or kill both of them. But he then just turned right into me. Luckily, I think he only put like one bullet into me, so he didn't do a whole lot of damage. But I put him down pretty quick. So now we're just kind of sitting around trying to figure out where this guy's at. I got like three rockets left. I'm not very good with the rockets. I haven't quite learned the explosion zone yet. So usually I just do them kind of like this to uh, break down buildings and, and clear areas out. And then I come around this corner and oh no. So I got the headshot there. Bam. And I'm like nope. You can just stay there. I'm just going to build up on you. One of the things that I thought would be pretty funny is to just choke somebody out using the storm. So if you know you have more health packs than the other person or shields than the other person, why not just try to uh, wait out the storm and let it keep shrinking and then eventually like choke that person out. I wonder if anyone's put that video on YouTube. Now I'm, now I'm curious. I'm going to have to go search it out. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Fortnite. I'm definitely going to start posting more of these videos. So... I'm definitely enjoying this game. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these commentaries and you're appreciating what I'm trying to do and post more for you guys. So until next time, guys, you already know the name. It's Mario Pepsi and guess what? I'm out of here.